I'm so excited to be joined by Chef Sean Baxter. So, what's the second thing you're gonna be making Okay, for so me? the second dish that we're gonna to try to make for you guys today is gonna to feature two local products. One of them is going to be uh, our local shrimp. And uh, like I said earlier, it took me two years to source uh, this shrimp to find yeah. them in the same size uniform that will look aesthetically what we're looking for and have all of the requirements we have, you know, which is mm -hmm. local, fresh, things like that. Uh, the company that I sourced them from is known as the Woods Fishery and they've actually been in business since 1860. Wow. So 140, over 145 years of customer service. They know their stuff. These are wild caught American shrimp. They're caught off of Tibby Island, Georgia. Okay. Okay. Uh, the second product we have is we're going to use a, a purple grit. Gorgeous. Okay. And uh, that is from Jacksonville, Florida. And I cool. believe that they're grown in, manufactured in Florida, and then they're sent to Charleston for packaging. Okay, so, sweet. So it's kind of like a double kiss on that one. So this is what they look like. Now listen, they're a little smaller than the shrimp that you might see in some places where they're really big. Well. Due to the way we get them, there's no, there's nothing added to them. There's no, they're not treated with chemicals, yeah. so they're smaller, but they're fully packed with flavor and they're absolutely delicious. All right. Okay. And who doesn't love shrimp and grits? You yeah, know? Right? especially here Classic in the south. Dish. This is what they're gonna look like when you, after you take them off and clean them and shell them up. You start with the grits. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna. You want to cook your grits because your your grits will take you about 40 minutes to cook to make to make mm -hmm. true grits, real grits. It, you can use instant grits if you want, that's up to you. Uh, so you gotta make sure that your stock or water, you can cook it in either one, is boiling. Stock, chicken stock would be your most neutral. So we have our water nice and boiling, and we're gonna use water because a lot of our guests might be vegetarian, so uh, they'll be able to eat it if I don't use stock. Mm. Right, so you're gonna wanna Make sure your water is boil, boiling and seasoned. You're just gonna go ahead and incorporate your grits in as fast, or uh, excuse me, uh, as fast as your water will take them. Meaning, don't have them start clumping up on you. Okay? Yeah. And make sure that uh, you whisk it, okay? Continuously and until it's, until it's thicker. And then once it's thicker, you're gonna turn it down. Gotcha. Okay. And that's when it starts cooking for a long time. Yes. All right. So, All right. Make me these shrimp. So I'm gonna make. I'm gonna cook the shrimp now. I'm gonna sear the shrimp. So once again, I'm gonna want a nice hot pan, sauté pan, cast iron skillet. I always season my shrimp before I put them in, or before I put them in the pan. Uh, I think it's easier to coat them evenly. Some people yeah. do them the opposite way. All right. So you can use a couple different things to cook your shrimp. You can use olive oil or a blended oil, butter. I like to use a combination. Gotcha. Gives it a little more color and a little more flavor. I'm gonna go ahead and whisk this. Okay, so first I'm gonna put a little olive oil in the pan. Not too much, because we're not, we're not frying them, okay? Add up my butter. Let this come up to the heat. What do you want on yeah, the Yeah, there you go. Yeah. All right, here, that's sizzle. We're getting oh, close yeah. to the cook time. You don't want to just throw them in. You can if you want. I don't like to. I like to lay them in like that. You hear that noise? A sizzle? That's what you're looking for. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 